believe that oil got on the exhaust and it probably dripped out of this guy because of the blow by it fills that thing up so bad now we're gonna find out if she can drive she has this little hole to come out of her off and then we're gonna take her and park her somewhere special to tell you guys her story and her future plans. Awesome 1973 Ford Bronco that we absolutely love and adore because we always wanted one. We've owned her about five years. We were headed out actually to celebrate one of our anniversaries. We had just finished building the Chevy Love, which I spent way too much money on. And we're cruising out that way and, and Emily noticed the Bronco sitting over there for sale. And she said, oh man, look, there's an early Bronco. We should stop and see it. And I said, no, I, I've, I've seen it. I've driven by here twice. I refuse to look at it because there's no way I can afford to do it, you know, because I'm feeling guilty about having just built this truck. And she said, if, if it's really that important, then just buy it. We've always loved early Broncos. And when we saw it on the side of the road, I was just like, babe, how have you been driving by this? We have to go at least look at it. I locked the brakes up, slid in, and we ended up looking at it, made a deal with the lady, bought it. And it was a really good price. So there was no way we were going to pass it up. We've always done dumb stuff and bought stuff we couldn't afford. so. Why not add one more to the list, right? <laughs> when we found it, the transmission was actually in pieces in the bed. Oh, and the, the transfer case was too, wasn't it? Yeah, the transfer case was actually sitting in the back. It had fresh paint on it, like maybe somebody had rebuilt it or something. We picked the thing up, put it on a trailer, and dropped the transmission and transfer case off at the transmission shop on our way through town. Like, please fix this. Hopefully you have everything yeah. you need. We live right around the corner from this transmission shop, and Throughout the years, we've traded favors back and forth. So when I dropped it off, I'm, I'm not one to, to rush somebody, but I said, hey, if any time you're gonna get in a hurry for me, this is the time, because I'm really excited about this project. We stopped in there, dropped the transmission off, and we took the Bronco home and did a compression check on it, and we actually fired it up with the transmission not being bolted to it. Everything ran good, so we went ahead and pulled it out, painted everything up, cleaned everything really well, dropped it back in and a week later or so the transmission was done and we picked it up. So within a couple of weeks we had a running and driving early Bronco and while she's rough around the edges it's a really really clean one. We've just driven it for all these years and just loved on it and taken it on many many mm -hmm. adventures. My sister and her husband drove it away from their wedding like it's just been a really special vehicle for us. Um, and we are super, super stoked to see it through this next chapter. A new engine's gonna be amazing. We have a yeah. Roller 5.0 out of an Explorer for it. And another thing that we've really wanted to do for a long time is do an overdrive transmission because it's got super low gears and it just doesn't highway drive that well. It's super wound out and 55. 60 is pushing it. Yeah. So we really wanted to do an AOD swap on it. So 
That's in the plan as well. It runs, but it has no oil pressure, especially if you're idling. It doesn't even show up on the, the gauge thingy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something I would say, yeah. gauge thingy. I'm cruising along right now. We're going, I don't know, two or three miles per hour. We have zero oil pressure. That's ultimately what's causing us to take it apart. It has just gobs of blow by. The undercarriage is just coated in oil, but the silly thing won't stop. It just keeps <laughs> running. And so we, we haven't wanted to tear it apart, but it's time. It's chilly-ish in Texas right now. We have about two more months before the weather gets nice. And so we feel like that's a really good time to tear it down, do some work on it, have the junkyard engine. Think we want to leave it carbureted. It's got a two barrel now, just put a four barrel on there with an electric choke and- Definitely needs new tires. We want a soft top. We do know that. It's got a, a hard top, but it's so friggin' heavy that when we finally take it off, we tend to leave it off. And so if it's raining, we can't use the vehicle and we have to store it inside. And our shop is kind of small, so it's a bummer when this hunk of junk's in there all the time. <laughs> he didn't mean that. No. <laughs> he didn't mean it, Betty. Oh, her name is Betty Boot Bronco. And actually the lady that owned it before us named her that. So. She came with the name, Betty Boot Bronco. And if you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you will have seen the hashtag Betty Boot Bronco. Oh yeah, she <laughs> gets Because we've out. posted her up a lot <laughs> over the years. And you guys have seen her in the background of episodes and things like that too. But this year she's gonna get some real air time. She's actually the first vehicle that we're gonna get in the shop this year that is our own. You know, we're working on that F100 doing a coyote swap on it. And that one is just taking a lot of time. It's a huge build. We're changing everything about it. And so it's taking us a while, but an episode will be out soon. But I wanted to get an intro video out for you guys on this rig because we are so excited about it. It's gonna be mm -hmm. so cool seeing her refreshed and revived and back on the road. We have a lot of dreams, of course, being gearheads. We wanna do killer suspension. We wanna do a twin stick on it. We'll just have to see how the uh, funding happens and timing and everything because we have a lot of goals this year and little by little we will achieve them, I'm certain. <laughs> So we appreciate y'all's patience with us. Uh, I got a few episodes out early in the year and then it's just been kind of a lull. And Aaron's been working so hard on his pilot stuff and earning money to do that. It's just been a lot. So thank you guys for your patience and we'll get more episodes out for you guys ASAP. Can't wait.